Good afternoon. My name is Nigel and I'm a youth worker and work for Hillingdon Youth uh, Council. Um, today we are going to do some rock painting. Um, very, very simple. The, the rocks you can either get from the garden, um, which such as these, this style of rock, or you can go to um, a hobby or craft shop and there's a selection of uh, rocks here, different colours, different textures, uh, different shapes. Um, it's really um, a personal choice, um, whatever whatever style of rock that you like. The, um, the paint I'm using is an acrylic paint, uh, and you'd get that from a hardware store or, or a craft shop again. And I've got some pots of water here. If you're doing this at home, I would uh, recommend you put some paper down first so that um, you don't make a mess at home and you get into trouble with uh, your parents, carers or guardians. Um, it's and I've, the other thing I've got to write some messages on the um, stones is some permanent marker pens. The the theme I'm looking at today is um, is to be kind. Uh, we're going through some very troubling times at the moment, everybody, and we just thought that it would be nice to put something very positive um, on these stones so that you can either keep them yourself and remind yourself of, of the positive message or word that you've used, or you could actually give that to somebody as a gift, whether that's a family a member or, or a friend. Uh, what we're basically doing is is getting the stone clean. If you get it from the garden, you need to clean it. This one comes from my garden. Um, clean it first. Um, I've put a, a, a white coat on there as a base, base coat um, so that anything else will, will highlight and show up. Um, so it's basically, I'll give this another coat just to show you. So you've got the white paint there and you're gently um, just, just giving that a paint. Um, it's nice and simple. It's good fun. And um, as long as you don't get to, if you get it on your hands, it's not going to, it washes off with water. So it's not uh, toxic or anything like that. But as I say, just be, uh, just be very mindful if you're doing it in the kitchen or the living room at home, because uh, the last thing you want is to get shouted at because you've painted a piece of furniture. So uh, that's there. So we'll leave that to dry. Obviously with the temperatures as they are, it may dry very quickly, hopefully. Um, what I'll show you is that's one I did earlier. I've painted um, a darker color on that, left it this natural stone color on that side. This has just been left its natural color. This one here, I've just left it natural, cleaned it, and then I've just put a message on there, love your life. So that's nice and positive. Um, this was done by a colleague. Uh, it's very pretty, very delicate. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a strawberry or I'm not quite sure. So it's, uh, it's up to your imagination, really. There's no wrong, right or wrong. It's really what you enjoy doing, what colors you enjoy using. I've got a variety of colors here you're more than welcome to choose whatever colors you like. If you're into dark colors, you can use those, lighter, etc. So what I've done on this one is obviously painted it a base yellow, put on there, be kind, which is the theme. And on the other side, just put some nice glitter. And I'll show you how to do that in one moment, which I'm gonna show you with this, this particular um, stone here. So first things first, you get some glue. Don't get toxic glue. This is just a, um, a, a friendly, environmentally friendly glue, um, and just put that onto, and it rolls onto the onto the stone, nice and gently, just so. What I'd ask you to do is go onto the hashtag Young Hillenden, and any of your examples of your fine work. What you can do is take some photographs and um, post them on there for us, show them to us. And that would be absolutely fantastic. Okay, this is one of the ones I've done earlier. And as I say, I've put some glue on the bottom there. Um, I would suggest getting a, a box or something or a container. So when you do sprinkle the actual glitter on, it doesn't go on the floor or all over the table. So it's an excuse to, to sprinkle, give it a shake. And there's some nice it's a nice color there, and I'll leave that at the front so you can have a look at that. There we go. It's absolutely fantastic. There's the other one, an example there. There's one that my colleague done earlier. And 
things. There we go, there's another one, which is a nice positive message. Some of the examples that um, you could use for words uh, could be relax, hope, uh, love your life, which we've got there, smile often, uh, be kind, stay fab, um, joy, believe, um, you are powerful. These are the sorts of examples um, you can put on there. What we'll do um, is maybe we'll post something on there just to give you an example of some of the words. Um, and as I say, the stones can be any any shape. Um, there's this one here, you know, that's just a, a, a basic example there. So what I would, just to remind you, hashtag, hashtag young Hillenden and post any examples of your work, photographs, um, designs. You don't have to put words on there, but something nice and positive, whether it's a smiley face or, or something along those lines, that would be absolutely fantastic. Um, we do hope to hear from you soon. Um, thank you very much and um, have a lovely weekend. Thank you.